A new war dedicated at the Princess Margaret Hospital yesterday as part of the Governor General's annual visit to the facility. Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands used the opportunity to discuss improvements to the delivery of public health care. Yeah. Cutting the ribbon to the new Corey Newbold Ward, the Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pindling, ended the year with her traditional visit to the Princess Margaret Hospital. Words of comfort for the sick were matched by commendation for the professionals who keep the premier public health facility going. Look forward to sharing in, in as much as it allows me to see so many familiar faces and to have an opportunity to spend time with the staff and patients of this important facility. I am especially delighted to pay tribute to the important work of the Princess Margaret Hospital and uh, to publicly recognize and applaud the industrious and dedicated heroes of the healthcare industry who work tirelessly to provide our nation with the best service in quality health care. The public health system is in the midst of transition with infrastructural improvements, the decentralization of services, and a tug of war over the conditions of work for doctors and nurses. Amidst the conflicts, Health Minister Dr. Duane Sands applauded the work of the health care providers and detailed pending improvements to service. I believe that few in the public realize the phenomenal work performed by the doctors and nurses in Princess Margaret Hospital's Accident Emergency Department. Annually, they see between 55,000 and 60,000 patients, many of them critically ill. This complex, multi-million dollar undertaking will result in enhancement, enhancements to the PMH emergency room waiting area, triage, asthma bay, and treatment rooms here at PMH. But it also involves the upgrading of the Elizabeth Estates Clinic and South Beach Clinic to make urgent care facilities for emergency triage levels three, four, and five. Dr. Sands explained that the enhancements will ultimately mean that the burden on the resources at PMH will be lifted. As amazing as the emergency department staff are, and as important as the improvements and renovations to the hospital emergency room will be, an even more significant aspect of this project will be expansion of the urgent care services in Elizabeth Estates and South Beach Clinics. Because this aspect of the project not only facilitates access to care, but allows for a reduction in demand for service at the already oversubscribed PMH emergency room.